Hi and welcome to the weekly predictions based on astrology for the week of December 28, 2020. Uh, in terms of the stock market direction, uh, my prediction for the week uh, is that the market will overall go down, including every day of the week except obviously Friday, which is uh, New Year's. Um, I am recording this on the afternoon of uh, the 28th of December, uh, but I did post my predictions on my blog on Sunday and I do see that on Monday market actually went up. Uh, that said, I do still think that uh, we still have several uh, fairly, uh, I guess, important days uh, left in this week and the market uh, may still go down and certainly I do expect Tuesday, uh, Wednesday and possibly also Thursday to see strong moves in the market and that would be regardless of the direction, but I think it will be uh, down and specifically I think there may be concerns about things like oil, gas, value uh, of um, I guess related products and also things like chemicals, pharmaceuticals, uh, beverages and all of the sort of Neptunian um, I guess stocks or uh, businesses, again anything to do with water or liquids. And uh, there I'm, I think that there may be concerns about the value of the related products or companies, whether or not something is uh, more expensive than it should be, or if there is a sale, whether something was uh, valued properly. And there may also be concerns about long distance travel and associated concerns about sort of the value of oil. Um, let's see. In, in addition, uh, this whole sort of theme for the entire week uh, may be uh, focus on the companies that are related to communication and transportation and uh, for transportation uh, this may especially be related to any sort of long distance transportation especially like railroads or over the borders import export and um, and there may be uh, either news about either something being delayed or some concerns about legality of something is there like all proper uh, I guess law or regulation uh, for something to be shipped or delivered and so there may be some associated delays due to either bad weather but also some um, some confusion or some lack of clarity and uh, this kind of a delay may um, there may be also unclear as to when exactly say travel or shipment uh, may resume because again some details are not provided or uh, or hidden. Let's see, for the US, uh, Monday uh, is also an important day where there may be some news coming up about either again transportation communication companies, either business or projects related to communication transportation and there may be concerns about either insufficient progress or poor performance losses or perhaps progress but sort of in the wrong direction where uh, you know, the developments are not really, uh, I guess, achieving the initial goal. And if there is, again, some sort of a legal matter that is an obstacle to maybe some shipment occurring or a deal being signed, there may be some lack of details which would need to be clarified before the actual contract can be signed or the uh, situation is, you know, resolved and it particular may involve some sort of either legal issue or an international entity maybe uh, maybe an approval needs to be given uh, by some international partner also for china monday looks like an important day and there too may be some minor news uh, focused on the communication transportation areas and again there may be some if there is someone going communication or other negotiations in those areas or by those companies uh, there may be some more frictions uh, than usual that's for Monday the 28th of December uh, Tuesday as I mentioned I think Monday will be going down and especially Tuesday and Thursday kind of look the strongest down days to me for this week uh, Wednesday there is still a slight chance chance of market going down but it doesn't look quite as bad as Tuesday and Thursday uh, generally, however, the 29th through the 30, 31st of December uh, may see increased focus on uh, things like, again, oil, gas, chemicals, water, navy, also beverages, 
and religion, deception, music, movies, and like I said, all those Neptunian areas. And uh, there we may see either a drop in the value of uh, some of the related products or businesses, or at least major value fluctuations. And uh, in, the, in parallel with that, or perhaps related to this, there could be concerns about long distance transportation uh, or perhaps disagreements in the value, again, about these um, products or disagreements in, say, religious values. And so there basically may be some issues. Um, for example, somebody wants to travel somewhere and uh, there may be problems because of their like religious background that there may or may not be allowed or they may experience difficulty traveling long distance and vice versa if there are problems with say long distance transportation uh, then we may see some fluctuations in the oil value related to that and there may also be news about some either leaks or contamination with like oil or gas or of drugs or chemicals so some sort of issues that uh, are somewhat problematic uh, again pharmaceuticals chemicals oil and gas and either something leaks or something is contaminated or some and therefore its value may be reassessed or vice versa you know um, there may be some problems um, and say, say some shipment of oil or gas or pharmaceuticals delayed and therefore it's in the short supply and so the value goes up. Let's see, and uh, another area that um, is ruled by Neptune is, are, are things like music and say movies, etc. And as I mentioned, there may be a theme where some religious, some, some disagreement over religious values. So for example, if there is a movie or music that has this um, religious figure or theme uh, in it that that particular movie or that music may be boycotted based on kind of disagreement again about certain values. And that's for the 29th or the 31st. Um, then Wednesday, Thursday, so the um, 30th and 31st, uh, there may be an important uh, announcement globally related to transportation, travel, international laws, immigration, foreign relations, and or some sort of legal decision. Again, it could be related to import-export, long-distance travel, etc. And uh, there may be concerns about either legal restrictions being imposed on this travel or shipments, or perhaps uh, excessive expenses or losses endured by, uh, say, transportation companies. And these announcements, uh, whatever there are, will likely be unpopular with general public. So something probably there is a restriction or a loss, something that's not a, I guess, positive um, type of news. And so again, like I said, there may be changes in like import-export rules or perhaps cost um, of importing, exporting something like a tariff, uh, cost of shipments, prices of some tickets, especially for long distance travel and uh, or some generally uh, general travel difficulties or restrictions and again those might not be popular uh, with the general public. Uh, for China on the 30th there may be some negative minor negative news related to either financial institutions or banks or earnings uh, so perhaps there is some sort of negotiation and that's not proceeding uh, as well as expected because there's some confusion or one partner is being deceived or some there's lack of clarity about the direction in which to proceed. And also for China, the 30th may see increased news about um, all the Neptunian uh, subjects I just mentioned, such as oil, gas, um, pharmaceuticals, gas, water, navy, beverages, etc. And the news uh, on the 30th for China may involve news about, say, contract or negotiations involving those areas, or maybe a sale uh, of, like, say, company or or some news about maybe some findings in those areas, like finding, you know, of a body, not a body, but rather a source of, say, oil or something like that. Uh, so for the 30th, uh, excuse me, 31st, I think it will be, even though it's, uh, you know, the day before, I guess, the new year, I think it still might be an important day. It probably, uh, I think the market will go down on that day. And for uh, the U.S., there may be increased focus on the news on that day on finance, earnings, assets like banks, financial institutions and policies, 
also rates, debt, loans, taxes, and insurance. And uh, specifically, concerns may be about either taxes or some hidden um, sources of earnings or income as some manipulative activities, basically deception, hidden money, illegal payments, corruption, debt, bankruptcies, uh, bankruptcies rather, and loss of earnings due to some uh, regulations imposed by the government. Now for the US, this whole theme of sort of uh, either hidden money or illegal payments or just focus on uh, sort of financial stability and assets uh, of the banks may be strong the entire week, but uh, something may particularly come up on the 31st. And in addition to this focus on finance and against something especially related to either taxes or something that's either, you know, corruption or something that's hidden or illegal, there may also be generally focus on um, some sort of risky or dangerous activities. It could be by banks themselves, uh, perhaps some risky investments um, or, you know, say casinos or market volatility concerns, or it could be generally speaking uh, concerns about some risky or dangerous situations that involve maybe attacks, fires, or uh, some maybe attacks on powerful uh, either individuals or entities or powerful you know players like corporate players doing something risky or dangerous again could be investments or could be a uh, situation that means a fire at a building that is uh, you know on the financial institution or a wealthy old sort of powerful uh, individual may be experiencing some, some difficulty um, or it could be in re related to like an actual power plant or machinery that has somehow a lot of power and so maybe it's overheating or there is a dangerous situation at such a um, plant or uh, it could be um, if there's a negotiation and again one individual is really or a corporation or individual is like old powerful established uh then one of the parties can act uh kind of with too much sort of aggression and again the situation may escalate so basically some of that uh kind of either hidden financial dealings or some escalated situation which could involve entities or individuals but could also involve actual machinery that like is a power plant or some you know, so some machine that basically generates power, power generator. <laughs> and so let's see. So for the 30, uh, for the 1st of January, I didn't make any specific predictions. Market will be closed. Um, and I will be in the next few days posting uh, sort of long-term predictions for the entire year of 2021. And to give a quick uh, preview of the mar mar uh, mar month of um, uh, January 2021, it's worth mentioning that basically it looks like a very much of a roller coaster month and there may be uh, quite a few days where we will see either market volatility and also a lot of surprises and changes and sort of turnabouts and it particularly particularly may affect uh, areas related to again financial institutions banks currencies, cryptocurrencies, and either policies related to those or just value. And there may be, as I mentioned already, market volatility, but also may, we may hear uh, about in the news a lot of sort of uh, news about the volatility in the weather. And um, whereas in this year, there are a lot of like these shakeups and maybe even earthquakes. When we enter 2021, the focus may shift onto situations that involve like excessive winds or uh, power disruptions or service disruptions. So maybe, you know, something like a social media platform goes down or network out, uh, you know, network provider outages or uh, some problems basically with communication at these kind of high speeds. Uh, and so for especially January 4th through the, uh, say February 7th, the that period is kind of hard to even point one or two important dates because literally this entire period every day there may be some surprises but i would say i would focus on uh dates entire week of uh, january 11 but also uh, specific dates of 10 16 20 24 27 through 31 of january and then february 6 and out of those 
uh, January year 24 stands out to me, where not only can, can there be some particular weather events, uh, market fluctuations, but also in the past, under similar conditions, we had really big either maritime disasters like Titanic sank, <laughs> or uh, something that again is involving, uh, involves Neptune and liquids or gases or ice or, you know, something that's frozen, something that may be ice that quickly uh, turns into gas or something that, uh, like what we had was this Bayou Cornet sinkhole had formed, you know, because I guess uh, the underground salt dome cavern had suddenly collab collapsed. So you have this expansion of either liquid or gas or you know, obviously Titanic ran into an iceberg and it may involve again basically either maritime disaster or some situation involving navy or excessive precipitation, too much snow, too much water or water suddenly changing state and that leading to some problems uh, or perhaps there is like a uh, chemical spill or, uh, you know, chemicals suddenly evaporates like fertilizer, you know, catches fire due to some, you know, situation. So something along those lines and that there's a heightened probability of it the entire month of January, which again, focus on generally uh, prices of oil, gas, etc. Also chemicals. Of course, we have pharmaceuticals. We have this uh, distribution of vaccine happening at the same time, but there may be not only news about those areas, but also increased probability of specific events that are uh, accidents or disasters or just important events uh, that involve water or liquids. And let's see, for the stock market, again, this might mean a lot of uh, fluctuation and volatility and specifically also on January 13 and 14, uh, we will have on the 14th, Uranus will um, turn direct after being uh, retrograde for some time. And that may also indicate a reversal in the markets or at least changes in the say, direction in certain currencies, uh, value of currencies, especially cryptocurrencies or anything to do with Uranus. So if there was an airline that say there was a service outage, it may get back to, into uh, the service, uh, basically maybe back on. If there is a power outage due to say a storm or some outwork, uh, network outage, then on the 14th, you know, it may be restored. So some change of direction, say on the 14th compared to uh, weeks prior or at least days prior, you know. Uh, and let's see, and um, in terms of overall stock market direction, I did previously predict back in the early uh, November that I thought that November would be a, especially the second and third week, will be probably a um, top uh, of the stock market for you know some time in the medium, I'd say, range. And uh, so far, the market hasn't really turned down as I had expected after, I'd say, around the 16th of November. It didn't necessarily go up as, uh, I guess, uh, fast as it has been from the beginning of November, you know, to that mid-November time period. Uh, that said, I do still think that that uh, right now we're still at the top and uh, especially if it doesn't change between now and I'd say week of uh, January 11th, January 11th week um, is when we potentially may see this another major reversal and especially when uh, Uranus turns um, back direct, which is around the 14th. Mm. For the US, uh, obviously it's an important time as well and it's interesting that on the 20th, which is the inauguration day, I believe, for the president, we will have an important aspect between uh, Mars and Uranus. The, they will be conjunct in Taurus very tightly and that obviously Uranus will often bring surprises or some disruption or the very minimum kind of a potentially uh, windy uh, weather or some sort of a storm and they these two planets that will both be squaring Jupiter and Uranus, Jupiter and Saturn rather in Aquarius So there will be definitely some sort of a lot of tension uh, along uh, at that time and So that may bring uh, either unexpected developments uh, unexpected uh, legal issues, but also accidents fires and like I said at the minimum uh, maybe power outages and super windy conditions as well as stock market volatility at the same time. 
And also starting January 2021 through about November of 2022, uh, but particularly mid-January, then June through early July 2021, and then mid-November of 2021, we will have Uranus and Saturn uh, planets squaring each other. So that may also bring some tribulations and some uh, times of tensions, and especially between, I guess, entities or uh, groups or even ideologies that either are symbolized by Uranus, which is like more revolutionary, kind of a freedom-seeking, equality for all kind of, uh, um, you know, ideas versus uh, Saturn being kind of, okay, let's, uh, I guess, more conservative and more sort of established uh, status quo kind of uh, uh, ideas. And so throughout this whole period, I'd say almost through the end of the 2022, there will be continuing tensions between those sort of general, I'd say, ideas or companies that re may represent uh, maybe some innovation, let's make things really fast and uh, just be in the name of progress, and either go governmental regulations or uh, corporations who are uh, trying to kind of maybe um, not necessarily stifle the progress, but make things proceed extra slowly and uh, carefully and pose lots of restrictions. So uh, there may be some, on, on the one hand, there could be really well vetted and uh, thoroughly checked innovations in, say, the areas of like IT, AI, airline, airlines, space exploration. But at the same time, progress in those areas may proceed slower than perhaps in other, other times uh, due to excessive, again, not excessive, but it increased regulations or checks or verifications. And uh, unfortunately, as I mentioned, January is a month where there may be increased probability of various like accidents. So it's possible that something may occur at the time, which then may lead to this uh, period of excessive kind of checks and regulations to make sure whatever had happened in January does not occur in the future. And uh, in other kind of general sort of uh, background uh, news uh, for the 2021, April, August, and December of 2021 may see increased focus on gold prices and the value of US dollar. Uh, and gold prices may see a reversal at that time. And this may be related to either some monetary policies in the US or, or like I said, the value of US dollar. And it could be something that's like an issue first arises in April. Uh, then perhaps is revisited in August and finalized in December, or those could be just three periods, and especially April and December is when there may be some, some new policy announced, is announced, financial policies announced in the U.S., and that affects value of uh, U.S. dollar and um, gold. And finally, uh, for China, we have this important period, which we already are in, you know, December through, I'd say, early January, but especially 25th of January, uh, 25th of December through the 2nd, I would say, of January 2021. Uh, this time is uh, sort of uh, significant for China, where we may hear about really major new announcements related to like new projects or vision or uh, structures being built um, related to either IT or space exploration or networks or something that's like really innovative but also large scale like a new airport or smart city or something that's super innovative and very very much ambitious and then also for uh china mid-february to mid-march of 2021 may see increased focus on uh powerful alliances uh with like international partners and also in expanding their military especially in the area of Navy and showcasing their kind of military might. And then early to mid-March 2021, uh, there may be some power plays or some, you know, one party is pressuring another party, but in some hidden way. Uh, and uh, some of the manipulations may be occurring at the time. And some issues of legality may come up where either one party is accusing the other of some secretive manipulative activities or uh, data breaches, hacking, and there may also be issues related to either nuclear power or recycling coming up at that time, where again, China may come up with the changes in its policy regarding those areas. And let's see some of the background influences. Um, I guess, as I mentioned, this particular week, we will hear increased focus sort of on oil and 
chemicals, etc., pharmaceuticals. Then for oil, this focus will actually continue into February of 2021. And uh, especially at the end of January 2021, there may be another time period where there'll be, there may be increased news about oil, pharmaceuticals, chemicals. And again, this could be both either related to some sort of unfortunately disaster or maybe fighting among countries who are oil, say, producers or some uh, concerns about the value or accessibility of oil or, again, other Neptunian uh, products such as, you know, certain chemicals, obviously pharmaceuticals or even water, say, because of water contamination due to some uh, pollution or leak, etc. And especially, I would say, January 18th through the 29th is where we may see spike of news related to oil, gas, etc. Uh, these kind of topics. And then for oil, gas, and other related Neptunian uh, products, there may be increased news in April of 2021, especially April 8th through 11. And those two may be accompanied by like a large market drop. And then in September, early September, especially September 1st through the 3rd of 2021, may yet again see increased news about these areas like oil, pharmaceuticals, chemicals, and those may also involve some tensions or problems or attacks or arguments. And at that time, there may also be a large market drop, especially on the 3rd of September. Mm. And I think I will wrap it up here. And as I mentioned, I will be posting some predictions both on my blog at lastunka.com and those will be for the 2021 in general. And I will also then be uh, uploading video to this channel for uh, the next year. And uh, hopefully there'll be new exciting predictions at that time and you will come back and visit me here uh, in a few days. Until then, and uh, enjoy your week and happy new year, everyone. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later. Bye.